Hey guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and I'm making this video for anybody with an iPhone 4 who wishes to update to iOS 5.0.1 while preserving your baseband and thus saving your unlock. So if anyone has an iPhone 4 that's currently on the Jevy SIM or on the Ultra Snow Unlock, this video will show you how to save your unlock while updating to the untethered iOS 5.0.1 firmware. Now of course this does include an untethered jailbreak on iOS 5.0.1. And I just wanted to let you guys know that depending on which baseband you have, for the unlock, you're either using Ultra Snow or the Jevy SIM. And if you go into settings, general, about, you can check your baseband and find out for sure which one you're going to be using. See, I have 3.10.01. So if your baseband's are 2.10.04, 3.10.01, or 4.10.01, you will have to use the Jevy SIM. If you don't know what that is, it's basically a hardware unlock. It works just as well as Ultra Snow, and it unlocks your device, but you do have to pay around, what is it now, six to $10 on eBay to buy the Jevy SIM. And if you don't know about that, you can click on this link right there. My video right there is all about it, and you can learn about it there. Now, if you guys have the 1.59.00 baseband, you'll have to use Ultra Snow, and that's free in Cydia, of course. And for those of you that have updated to iOS 5.0.1 without preserving your baseband like this video shows, your baseband is 4.11.08. At the moment, there is no unlock for that, but of course, as soon as an unlock is out, I will release a video, so subscribe to see that. All right, well, let's head over to our desktop, and you guys will need to download two things. For one, you'll need to download Red Snow 0.9.10 Beta 3, and this is both for Mac and Windows, so don't worry about that. Also, you will need to download your iOS 5.0.1 custom firmware, which I already built. I decided to make it a little bit easier for you guys, so I already uploaded the full custom firmware for 5.0.1. Now, if you guys have your original 5.0.1 firmware, you can make your own instead of re-downloading it. And to do that, just go to Extras, Custom IPSW, and select your 5.0.1 stock IPSW. For everybody else, just download the custom one I already made. Of course, in the description down below, there will be a link to my site, where you can find an in-depth guide, as well as the links to Red Snow and your custom IPSW. Okay, so before we begin, I just wanna let you know my iPhone 4 is on iOS 4.3.3 with the baseband 3.10.01, which means I'm using the Jevy SIM. But okay, let's go ahead and go into Red Snow, go into Extras, and select Pwn DFU. Now we're gonna put our device into DFU mode, you can power it off, but I just choose not to. Click Next, hold Power and Home for 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let go of your power button and keep holding your home button. All right, you can let go of the home button. Now just wait a little bit while Red Snow puts it into Pwn DFU mode. There you go. We can go ahead and close out of Red Snow. Now open up iTunes. Click OK. Now we're going to hold Option Restore on a Mac. If you're on a Windows computer, you're going to hold Shift on your keyboard and click Restore at the same time. Now we're going to go to the desktop or wherever your iOS 5.0.1 custom restore is. Make sure you select the one No BB. You don't want to select the official one, but OK. Click Open. And now give it about 10 to 15 minutes to restore. Now, if you guys do get any errors like 3194, you'll want to read the description down below where the guide is. It'll tell you how to fix all of those errors. Now, while this is restoring, I just want to talk to you guys about the 3194 error. Many of you guys will get it, and that's either because you yourself edited the host's file before, or you recently used Tiny Umbrella, which edits it for you. And you can fix it one of two ways. One, you can either use a different computer, or two, you can edit the host's file yourself. And if you don't how to do that you can read the guide down below it'll tell you how to fix the 3194 error by editing your host file but okay guys so once this restores I'll be right back okay so my iPhone has been restored and now it's at the activation screen so it's okay don't panic even if you guys don't have a sim card what we're gonna do is go to our desktop close out of iTunes and we're gonna run Red Snow. Basically by jailbreaking it, we're gonna activate it and we won't have to activate it using a SIM card. So go ahead and go to jailbreak and we're gonna put our device into DFU mode once again. So put this aside, click next, home and power for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let go of the power button and keep holding the home button. Okay, you can let go. 
Okay, just give it about two minutes till the menu pops up. It's a bit slower since you don't load your IPSW, but you will get your menu in just a second. Okay, so go ahead and click next to make sure install Cydia is checked. Click next, and now the jailbreak begins. Now your iPhone will restart in about five to 10 minutes, fully jailbroken and activated. All right, so my iPhone has restarted. Now all you guys need to do is configure it. So go ahead and click next, next and i would disable it right now click next okay of course set up your wi-fi and i'm just gonna skip that set up as a new iphone agree agree don't send and start using iphone so now we can slide over and we have Cydia. Go ahead and open up Cydia. And if this is your guys' first time opening it, you're gonna select user. But you guys are fully jailbroken, untethered on iOS 5.0.1. Now all that remains is to unlock your iPhone. And to do that for the 1.59.00 basebands, you're gonna search for Ultra Snow and you're gonna click install. Then you're gonna reboot your iPhone, put in your SIM card, and you guys are unlocked. For people like me that are on the Jevy SIM, like this guy right here. Uh, what you need to do is turn off your iPhone, put in your Jevy SIM, turn it on, wait for the menu to come up, and then click accept. And anyways, the full instructions are in that video right there. So if you guys don't know how to use a Jevy SIM, you're gonna click on that. But it's actually a very easy process, and once I get service, I'll be right back. All right, well, I'm just gonna go through the instructions real quick with you guys. Now, I am using the Jevy Pro SIM, not the Jevy Ultra. I'll make a video of that sometime soon. But okay, you're gonna click Accept after restarting your iPhone with the Jevy SIM already inside. Then we're gonna wait about 15 seconds. And once those 15 seconds are up, we're gonna go into the phone. Go into the keypad, dial 112, call, wait, one, two, three, press end. And now we are gonna go into settings and turn on airplane mode. And we're gonna wait until the no SIM pop-up appears. Okay, so we're still in airplane mode and we get this pop-up, that's okay. Click okay, turn airplane mode off. And now you're gonna wait about, I don't know, about 30 seconds until you get service. It'll say invalid SIM, that's perfectly fine. So I'll be right back as soon as I have T-Mobile service. But okay guys, there you go. I now have T-Mobile service on my iPhone 4. And just to show you guys, I am on iOS 5.0.1. There you go. Also, my baseband is 3.10.01. Fully unlocked, jailbroken, untethered on iOS 5.0.1. That's how you do it, guys. So if this video helped you jailbreak and unlock your iPhone 4 on iOS 5.0.1, if you liked it, please rate. It helps a lot. Also, leave any questions or comments you have down below. I will try to get to them. And of course, subscribe for more great videos. I am releasing the iPhone 3GS 5.0.1 unlock tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. And anyways, guys, enjoy your iOS 5.0.1 unlock and jailbreak on your iPhone 4. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day. Peace.